We're staying in a Magic Kingdom View room at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Let's explore. Everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Jay. We watch the theme park foodies, and we're staying for the first time ever. Well, I actually stood here when I was 10, but staying here for the first time ever together. My first time. I did not stay here when I was 10. Yeah, at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. We've already actually seen our room, and it looks so cool. We're going to do a full <laughs> tour. We're actually going to break some of the dining down to different videos. We will say what we thought of the dining at the end of this video, but if you want to see a more in-depth analysis of each of the dining options here, Check out our videos on it. We actually already have an Ohana breakfast video out. We'll be doing Ohana dinner, Kona breakfast, and a number of different options here. Captain Cook's might be found in this one, but we decided to be a bit more cost effective and rented DVC points from where, Sam? Uh, David's DVC rentals, which we've used before. We used for our honeymoon to stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah, and we love the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah. You, in the DVC area, it is a bit off the beaten path from uh, the main uh, ceremonial house. But I think the view that we have is so good. Uh, and you, you save like 40% off yes. of the regular price. About a third or to 40%. So uh, we got to a water view. We're staying here for four nights. And sometimes your view can be obstructed because you have the Polynesian bungalows in front of you. But we lucked out and we got a room where Magic Kingdom Castle is actually right in between two of those bungalows. And we'll have an awesome view of the fireworks from our little patio. We're on the first level, which is a lot easier when, we, when you have luggage. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna start with a full room tour. You excited? Yes. So we're staying in the Moara section. This is uh, probably one of the farthest uh, little houses here in the Polynesian Village Resort. We're actually probably closer to the monorail line for the transportation and ticket center, as well as the boat line from there than we are for Polynesian. So if you're staying in the Moara section, it might be easier just to walk over the transportation and ticket center. We'll let you guys know what we think at the end of the video, but let's start with that room tour, Sam. You excited? Yes, All right. let's go. Let's head inside. You can see we're staying in the vacation club section. And right when you walk in, you can see all the dining and entertainment they have here. Oh, here. Cute chairs. Yeah. Oh, and the, yeah, let's see uh, the chairs here. Hey, this is right, so right when you walk in, it looks very relaxing, right, Sam? Also, uh, right before you walk in, there's like a big chandelier. I believe you do have to enter from the back because the front is where all the patios and balconies are. You can see all this cool Polynesian artwork. Now, these are not the Moana rooms. Those are in the standard rooms. We're in the DVC section, so I'll be 1023. So. Oh, we have a studio. Yes. And the laundry is actually right next to our room, which is great. I'm really digging all the detail on the woodwork and the lights and like the, the walls as you walk down the hallway. All right, room 1023. Let's head in. All right. All right, we're inside. To the right, spacious. you can Yes, it's very spacious. Actually, two bathrooms. You can see they have the connecting rooms. Hello. And to my left is going to be the first bathroom. Another very well-lit mirror. There's two showers in here. The other one is a bit nicer, but this is where the only toilet can be found. And I really enjoy the artwork throughout here. You have uh, the three mermaids that you could find on Peter Pan, right there above the Jean. And you have some uh, parrots from the Tiki Room that are right behind me. Also, Polynesian artwork scattered about this uh, shower here, as well as on the shower curtain, handicap accessible with the rail. And they have the Disney soaps that are locked into the wall. So even though you're in deluxe, you're still stuck there. Clothes line in the shower as well. So you need to dry your clothes. I actually forgot my bathing suit. What I really like about this too, Sam, is there's some storage right down here, right? Yes, yeah, so everything on the counter. Now this is like a little place, all right. And I think this is, yeah, there's another garbage right here. You have your standard Disney soaps, body lotion, and uh, hand towels. As we head deeper into the hallway, they had this really spacious closet, right? Yeah, a little big suitcase fit in there. Yeah, we got our big suitcase. You, this is where you could find your safe, actually, as well. Laundry basket. Yes, laundry basket, your extra pillow and blanket, as well as the iron and ironing board. As we walk past that closet, one of the real positive things about DVC is that they have a lot of different 
uh, like stay at home or stay in room type of options here. They have a big microwave, which you won't see, I believe, in a standard room, right, Sam? I don't think so. Yeah, not to my knowledge. Big coffee bot. Uh, it's a big toaster oven. Well, not a big. Two toasters. Little, little, you get some toast in there. And they have the Joffrey's coffee, although I was expecting a Keurig and not the actual pot. Right, Sam? Right. Uh, also, obviously, your sink, so you can do some dishes while you're here. Paper towels, which I always feel like we're looking for napkins, so the paper <laughs> towels work. There's some storage up here, too. Oh, nice. Extra supplies. Coffee cups. cups, yeah. There's also, like, a can opener and, like, a wine. Yes. Opener. And I think right next to you, Sam, is the fridge, and it's a big fridge. Bigger than the standard rooms. Let's see what's over here. Oh. Another garbage. We got a few garbages in here. I think we just realized something too, Sam. We have more, even more storage above here. It's very high up. Yeah. All right. So right behind me is my favorite bathroom <laughs> in the room. Fortunately, well, this one no doesn't have a toilet. It's not. Yeah. A Sliding door. Full which bathroom. It's just another shower. Yes. But definitely useful. Sliding door. And another sink. Yes, the sink. Lots of things you can find near this sink, as well as your hair dryer. Um, I think that the fan actually naturally goes on once the lights are on. Hello. There's like a chair in the shower. Yes. A bench. Oh, right next to your rainfall shower, it turns into like a little steam room. Uh, you can find your towels, some more storage space. Towels right there. And yes, a rainfall shower head. If you've seen any of our previous room tours, you know I'm a big fan of those rainfall shower heads. You can see it has like the little cobblestone like theming it after kind of like a Polynesian retreat, standard shower, rainfall shower, the bench that Sam was talking about. And again, linked into the wall are those soaps. Sam, I think this is the biggest room we've ever stayed in. Yes. This definitely <laughs> seems bigger than the Animal Kingdom DVC room that yeah. we had. We could actually have friends over if we wanted because we have two full beds. I mean, this is the full, is this a full queen, I think? It's like a queen. Yeah. And then we have the pull down bed that's right over here. Look at the artwork though, I love that. All right, so this is what the bed looks like, completely pulled down. Again, that cool Polynesian artwork, and they give you a few extra pillows in the bed. I think this, Sam, will be our nap bed. <laughs> we like to take a nap sometimes when we're at the parks for a long period of time. It's our dirty bed. Yeah. <laughs> we Dirt bed and nap bed. in our bed. clean bed. And we uh, Yes, this bed looking very nice. They have two well-themed themed lamps right next to it. They and also- There are USBs under there. Yes, uh, USBs under both side tables. Uh, the remotes have also been in that plastic wrap cleaned and they have the little sign up next to the television showing you the points of inspection and cleaning they do. So looking very nice. Also, you have some drawers next to the bed as well for some storage. I just realized in addition to this lamp, you have each have a light above the bed as well. And this light is adjustable. So these DVC rooms are pretty decked out. Also another light right here. This one is above this bed. So you have someone staying there. And this one also adjustable. Next to this very nice artwork next to the bed is where you can find your AC controls and some of your lights. Sam, I think there's another bed hidden <laughs> away bed. somewhere. Maybe that's where you'll be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you think this one's going to be easier to open than the other one? Yeah, no need to move. Oh, it's tiny. Yes. Oh, light goes right on. Oh, I think I see the, uh, the outlet right there to turn it off. That's really cute. Maybe you see Lilo and Stitch sleeping. This is another good nap bed. A lot easier to get to open, too, than the other one. Right above this bed, too where the TV is and right behind Sam's Disney dog's bag so you can find your ice bucket so you put your ice on I really like this little themed Maui lamp Sam with the two chairs next <laughs> to it you can see Maui right as you walk in to the Polynesian Village Resort and another mirror so if you're feeling yourself or you need to freshen up but what I'm really excited for Sam it's checking out this view in the morning, right? It's amazing. Yes. We feel like it's in the perfect spot. Like right. Space Mountain is just like right in front of me. But and then like the castle a little bit to my left. It's just like right there. You, like I'm in the middle of both. 
I, I'm no one can see it though. I think we should open oh. the, the window, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, Sam, you're hyping it up. There it is. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. Let's go outside. You got it. There you go. All right. This is our view. You can hear the boats. Now I may need to zoom in, zoom in a bit because uh, this digital camera can't really capture, I think, the picture that well. But we have a perfect straight line view for Magic Kingdom. So yeah, and like the bridge to the bungalows is like right there. Yeah, we could see the boats going by. For and the our friend Eric Turner. Neal has a video on the bungalows. Yes, I'll if you want to check us. Below. Yeah, if you want to see his video. Yeah. And you have all the bungalows right there in front of us, but if we were one room over or one room to the left or right, a bungalow would be obstructing the view of the castle. But because we have this room, yeah. which is, what, what, what number are we? Two, three? Yeah, one, one, zero, zero, two, two, three. One, zero, two, three. If you want a good view of Magic, Magic Kingdom Castle, this is definitely the spot. And I tell you, we are definitely going to be taking advantage of the fact we can watch fireworks from our room, right, Sam? Yes. Not sure if like I'm allowed to step on the grass. Or if I could just like, could, could we just, just walk out there in the morning? It looks like we could just walk. And then, I mean, there's the transportation ticket center right there. You literally watch the ferry boat. Uh, we probably will be able to hear those loud ferry horns at night, so, though. So if you're in this section, that's something that you should take note of. And these are our chairs. Pretty standard. They seem decently comfortable. And we have a nice end table. Let me, uh, let me take a seat. See how it is. <sighs> Actually, yeah, no, it's really comfortable. Oh, great view. You can see Space Mountain. Also important note, a lot of storage in here. As you can see, there's some storage under the bed. Uh, there's actually a drawer right next to the bed. And then this can also be used as storage. I already got my bag in there. We're getting to watch the fireworks in our balcony, balcony tonight. Patio, but, it's not a balcony. Oh yeah, it's a patio. Oh. Got some Captain Cooks. Two of their most notable items are the meatballs. This is a lot of and the rice. Pad thai noodles. I didn't expect this to be this large. This is a lot of carbs. Yeah. And you can add meat to the noodles. But yes, they come to chicken or shrimp, but we just got vegetable. Carbs aren't carbs. So we're going to try them on and our carbs. little porch. Well, those things smell so good, Sam. Now, Carly actually said she likes Captain Cook's noodles more than the Ohana noodles. Mm. I do like them, Ohana noodle, though. I haven't had Ohana noodles in so long, though, so. Yeah, no, we haven't had Ohana noodles. It's got a little kick to them. There's a little spice. I like a little spice. Mm. Until we already have our nap. This is out such a food. huge portion. Jeez. Look at this. Yeah. Like that little corn thing. I don't know what it's called. One to ten. Mm, eight. Like these meatballs come with like a lot of rice too. I was just expecting meatballs, you know? Let me try the rice. Mmm. I feel like this was Very reasonably sweet. priced. Mm-hmm. Because that's a lot of food. Twenty bucks. For quick service, that's an eight. But yeah, I'll give it an eight. It's good. I like it. So just watch the fireworks. And as a Polynesian resort guest, we actually get two hours of magic hours at the Magic Kingdom that's tonight. All deluxe resorts, right? Not just Polynesian. There's only certain deluxes. I, I don't think certain ones are. are I, I don't think Saratoga Springs gets it. I'm not sure. You have to look that up. But I know we for this one, you do. Message on our phone. Oh, we have a message on our phone. I see the light flash. Oh, well. Well, listen to that, but we're gonna take the boat over. As everyone's leaving from the fireworks, we're gonna hop on some rides. All right, it's chilly today in Orlando 65. That's why I'm wearing my jacket. Sam and I just had breakfast at Kona Cafe. That will be a separate video. We also have a separate video coming out on the Ohana dinner here. We already have a video on the breakfast, as we said before. So those will be broken up into separate videos, but this video now we're going to do is a full grounds tour. So I'm gonna show you guys where you can uh, do some grilling. Uh, actually, I'll just bring that up right now because I'm actually in the DVC section. So they have some grills as well as some seating areas over here uh, right near the Moara section where you could grill up some food if you wanted to buy some food over there at uh, the Moana Mercantile inside the uh, Great Ceremonial House. And I'm actually going to walk down. I'll show you guys where the lava pool is as well as uh, the, other, the other pools that they have here in the Polynesian Village Resort and the different amenities that they have at those pools. Right as we pass the Toke Lao section, I hope I'm saying that right, we'll be coming up on the closest pool to where Sam and I are staying near Moara. 
This pool is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. You will need to use your magic band to get in. So this is the Oasis pool. They have the Oasis pool bar here. You can see towels over there. This is a lot more of a quieter pool section. There's your towel return. Uh, because the lava pool is the one with the big slide as well as the hot tub. So if you're looking for a little bit of a some, or some quiet time, this is definitely probably the pool you want to head over to. It also looks like they have a little splash pad area. Not splash pad, but some water jets over there for kids. Right next to the pool towels, they do have some ping pong as well as connect four that you can play. I won't be able to try it out, but they actually do have the Oasis grill here. So uh, you can grab some quick bites. It's probably gonna be a lot more convenient, especially if you're in the DVC section and maybe a little bit quicker too, because the great ceremonial, ceremonial house, say that three times fast, uh, is where everyone kind of conglomerates. As we walk up behind the great ceremonial house. Now the lava pool is right near the Hawaii section. You'll need to use your magic band to get in. It's one of the most notable pools on Disney property. I'm very disappointed I may not be able to use it because it's very cold thing. This was a resort day. What? Just got in. In now. So the lava pool, quite obviously, is built kind of into a volcano. And they have a really cool slide that goes through the volcano. You can also walk through the volcano. To the left of the lava pool, there is a splash pad. I can imagine the little ones really enjoying. And what's nice about today is because it's cold, not many people are out here. So you can see great views, and I don't have to worry about catching anyone. You know, kids on the camera. One of the great things about the lava pool is the epic views of the Grand Floridian as well as Magic Kingdom Castle. You can also use this beach right here. Check out the fireworks. They will pump the music from the fireworks show out here. Uh, we prefer to watch them from our room. Really can't hear the music that well from the room. But it's a, I mean, where we are is a great shot and a great picture of enchantment. And uh, yeah, they have these like live beaches right here. The spa or hot tub will be to the right as you walk in. Kind of a little off from where the actual volcano is, almost looking like a spring popping out of the ground. I got laid. When Sam and I first came in, uh, they weren't laying people. So lay is when they put the flowers over your head. Uh, for a long time, I don't think they were actually doing this because of COVID measures, but they're back to finally laying people in the lobby. I got an extra one for Sam so I could bring one back for her. Now I'm gonna do a complete tour or a little overview of what you could find in the great ceremonial house. I'll go over there, the different dining options that you could find in the main centralized area. Do wanna note as well, I made sure to ask one of the cast members, uh, the fitness center is actually shared with the Grand Floridian. So I'll walk over there as well. I think there might be a hidden little beach over there that may, could, may be a good spot to watch the fireworks as well. Uh, but I'm gonna head straight into the great ceremonial house now. So you guys know this is where you'll be dropped off by your Uber, Lyft, or a mirror shuttle coach. They actually, right at the front, have a uh, luggage section and, uh, or a section that can help you out with your luggage. And they have these little fires or tiki torches right as you walk in, really setting the mood for your Polynesian vacation, as well as these little waterfalls of the bridge as you walk right over them. It's very scenic and it really sets the atmosphere for your trip. Uh, yeah, so let's head inside. You should also note as well, the second level of the Great Ceremonial House is where you will have your monorail transportation. Sam and I are actually closer to the Transportation Ticket Center, which is actually great if uh, you're looking to go to Epcot. It's actually a lot closer to Epcot, the Moara section, or Transportation Ticket Center is the transfer line for Epcot. So you don't have to go all the way over here. You can just walk straight to the Transportation Ticket Center. All right, let's head inside. When you first walk in, you'll notice the statue of Maui greeting you. You turn to your left, that's where, I, where you can get laid. If you turn to your right, there's guest services as well as the check-in area. You can do mobile check-in on your phone as well. We have the My Disney Experience app. There's this beautiful chandelier right there at the front that uh, kind of looks like it's held together by pulley systems. And then to your left is where you can find the boutique. Uh, now this isn't really uh, your mercantile, I guess, or, or food type area. This is more of where you can uh, get your resort-centric gear and merchandise, as well as that 50th anniversary or classic vintage Disney merchandise they currently have right now, as well as some of their Valentine's Day offerings or seasonal offerings right now here towards the Valentine's Day season. Different ears, shirts, 
this is a, if you want to do your shopping this might be a better option than the Emporium and it has a lot of the stuff the Emporium has uh, without the crazy lines sometimes at Magic Kingdom. Walking straight through the Great Ceremonial House is where you can find the lava pool on the other side. This is actually where I just was where I was showing you guys the lava pool obviously. There's a beautiful Magic Kingdom Castle view. The Polynesian is actually situated right to the front of Magic Kingdom Castle and Pineapple Lanai is over to your left. This is one of the few places in Disney property outside Magic Kingdom you can actually get that awesome Dole Whip, which is a signature option here at Magic Kingdom. We're not done with this Great Ceremonial House yet, so we're back in. You walk all the way to the back of the Great Ceremonial House, and then take that left all the way down and then make a right. Oh, there's this cool shot of Mini, but that's what I was going to talk about. Find the bathrooms as well as Captain Cook's. Captain Cook's will be your quick service option. It's one of the favorite quick service options of Disney aficionados. And they have uh, notable noodles as well as meatballs, same as I had earlier. And you should also be able to find Trader Sam's down here. Well, guests of all ages welcome to 4 p.m. And only guests 21 years of age or older. Sam and I are going to try to do a separate video on Trader Sam, so take a look out for that. Uh, this is walk-up only, but the walk-up can fill up pretty quick. They're open from 3 p.m. to midnight. All right, you will have to head up to the second floor to find the rest of their dining options, so let's head up and see what they have. So if you're facing the lava pool and take the staircase to the right, there are elevators that you could take. If you take that staircase or those elevators, you can head over to where you check in for Ohana or walk right past that and head over to the Tambu Lounge. We actually were there last night for, uh, with Carly, one of our friends on Twitter, and she recommended to us the Backstratcher drink, which we really enjoyed. We've also had these uh, pineapple filled drinks there previously that we like. Uh, here, uh, right across from where I'm standing, is Kona Cafe. We had breakfast there earlier, and we'll have another video on that, as well as two videos. We have uh, earlier uh, breakfast and dinner on Ohana. And you can find the Moana Mercantile up here. Now that's where you're going to be able to find some of your more, uh, you know, at home type of options like uh, toothpaste and, uh, you know, if you want to use that grill that they have outside. Things to that nature will be found at the Moana Mercantile, uh, as well as uh, some, you know, Mickey Premium Bars, things like that. So I'm going to try to see if I can find that fitness center now. And then, uh, you know, just enjoy the atmosphere here. I want to try to get into the hot tub, but I actually don't have a bathing suit. You can get bathing suits at the Boutique, uh, just so you guys know, but they only have smalls right now, which unfortunately will not fit me. I should also probably bring up the Chase ATM, or Chase ATM is right next to the Moana Mercantile as well, if you need some cash. Right past guest check-in, you can find this really cool giant map of the entire Polynesian Village Resort. It'll probably help you out a bit if you're trying to look for, for where your room might be at. I'll show you guys where those bungalows are, those Bora Bora bungalows are too, because they're right in front of our Moara rooms. But right now, I'm definitely trying to find that fitness center. So if you walk right past the volcano pool, straight down, you can actually see a resort shuttle to the Magic Kingdom. It's that little boat right there. And they have this big beach with a volleyball court on it in front of the Bora Bora bungalows. You can see some of these bungalows in front of where Sam and I are staying as well as this great view of Magic Kingdom Castle. This is one of the premier spots to watch the fireworks. It's where most of the uh, resort guests here come to watch the Enchantment Fireworks when it's staying here. But my goal is now to walk towards that big white resort right there, the Grand Floridian, and to see where, wherever this uh, fitness center is. You can also rent boats here at the Polynesian Village Resort. I don't know how much they cost, so you can see them right here. This is where you would hop on. And I think, I'm not sure if you could still go fishing, but you used to be able to go fishing. I also think um, you could probably rip one during the time they have fireworks. And I heard that's actually very nice. So you guys know these docks are to the left if you're looking at the castle of the Great Ceremonial House. Looks like, according to that sign, I'm on the right path. So I walked right past the boats. Now I'm heading straight towards Magic Kingdom. They also have another beach over here, I hear. It's actually a great spot to watch the fireworks and they actually will pump the music in over here. Here's that other beach I was telling you about. Not many places to sit, which is probably why it's probably not as popular. They do have this little bench if you can grab it early on before the show starts. And look, there's a straight line for that castle. 
and also a great shot of the Grand Floridian. So the looks like the fitness center is definitely more themed towards the Grand Floridian than the Polynesian and a bit of a walk from no matter where you are. But I'll show you guys and just so you know it is right before the wedding pavilion as you can see right over there. All right so the health club is actually past the wedding pavilion. I'm already committed or else I probably wouldn't even have come but I just kept walking and then now I feel like I have to see it. I've walked so far. I've come this far. So I'm going to see what they have. All right, so this is the entrance to the spa that's open 9 to 6. But to the right is actually the entrance to the gym. And you can see the separate uh, Grand Floridian and Polynesian Resort entrance. Little taps to use your phone or Magic Band. I'm going to use my Magic Band. All right, so let's head inside. All right, 24-hour access. All right, they're letting me in. Again. All right, so what they've been telling me is that the system has been having issues recently with the Polynesian guests, so you may have to only come during the operation operating hours of the spa, just so you guys know. All right, so this gym's pretty stacked out. Uh, a lot of the same stuff that I remember seeing at the Destino Tower, but definitely a bit larger. Five different treadmills, two bikes, two ellipticals, a number of different machine-based, you know, chest press, leg extension. Three different benches with dumbbells that go up to 50 pounds, which is pretty standard. The dumbbells that go up to 50 pounds at any resort-based uh, type of gym. They have the uh, standard life cycle bike, uh, cable pull-down machine, as well as a, like a little pull-up section on there as well that you can interchange the cables with. They have the TRX bands, as well as some BOSU balls and a water bottle filling station. When you first walk in, you will actually see the towel station and in the back corner you could find the restroom so it's a pretty decent gym they also have some yoga mats in here as well um, and they have a dumbbell based clock so if you're looking to work out on vacation so i know i know you know not everyone is but some are this is definitely a great option although you may want to run here and get maybe some of your cardio in if you're staying at the polynesian especially for me i'm all the way at Mora morara this is probably like three quarters of a mile of a walk i'm not you know it doesn't bother me but if you're walking in the parks all day, that could be pretty bothersome to you. You can roast marshmallows here at the Polynesian. So Sam's about to roast unlimited marshmallows too. So they come with your stay. The castle's right there. I never roasted a marshmallow yeah. in the castle. In yeah, you're doing right in front of the castle. Great view of the Grand Floridian as well as the shuttle that takes to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. All right, Sam's about to have her marshmallow. Again, these are unlimited. The s'mores kits do cost money though. Good. Highly recommend having a drink at Trader Sam's and then yeah. getting free marshmallows. Yeah, we were just we just got out of Trader Sam's. It'll be a, di a different video. We we did everything here, Sam at the Polynesian. Kona, that tastes like Sam's. the best marshmallow I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Trader Sam's and marshmallows, guys. It has just started raining as we're leaving <laughs> Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. This was truly like a bucket list stay for us and we wanted to stay at the Riviera we were going to rent DVC points for the Riviera but we were unable to and they had this available yeah. for us but it yeah. ended up like being the best decision for it was us. the best day we ever had yeah uh, the view was perfect we watched Magic Kingdom fireworks from our patio and then took the monorail from the transportation ticket center to Epcot to watch the fireworks there that's how quick we were able to do that um, the Morea section Maybe a little rough if you want to be close to the food and everything, but it's it actually really better helped. if you want to go to Epcot. Yeah, and it really, it was a four minute walk. It seems so far away, but yeah. really it's not far. Yeah, it, it, it was five minutes ceremony house and four minutes transportation ticket center. And if you're going to Epcot, you have to transfer at the transportation ticket center anyway. So if you're staying at the Morea DVC section, I actually think it's a better spot. Yeah, it's closer. For, yeah, for transportation. Also, uh, I actually like the DVC rooms, I think, better than the Moana rooms because they had that old school Polynesian vibe. Like you have the uh, tiki room parrots and then birds on the wall in one of the bathrooms. We like nostalgia. So. Yeah. But the, they're the Moana rooms are gorgeous. Yes, they are very nice, the Moana rooms. It's starting to rain pretty hard here, but we mm. definitely recommend running DVC points. We hope you guys may, I may have been, or we both helped you out with the tour a bit. We will have videos on all the different dining options here. We literally did everything there is the to do here. Food was amazing. Yeah, food was amazing. The Ohana ambience. was amazing. Honestly, roasting the marshmallow was seriously <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the trip. Like, yeah. you know, something so simple. It was just the setting, the beach, the sand, the sun yeah. setting, seeing the castle. Like, yeah. it was just, I felt so happy. Yeah. We watched fireworks on our patio three nights <laughs> in a row. And we went to Magic Kingdom in the morning to get coffee as we left. The location, 
the scenery, and I loved actually the shot of the bungalows with the castle in the background that we had. And you can only get that from the DVC rooms. So again, bucket list day, we really enjoyed ourselves, and we hope this video either helped you out or brought a bit of Disney Polynesian to you as it rains on us. Mm -hmm. I think it's a perfect time to yeah, leave. It's the first it's, time it's raining so even here. Mood for going home. <laughs> If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out there into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. I mean, the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. <laughs> yeah, Sam, we did everything. So, I mean, I feel pretty happy. I don't think there's much more we could have done. And it rains as we walk out for the first time <laughs> cold. in seven days. Yeah, and it's pretty pretty chilly today. I'll miss these views, I though. will miss that French press Kona <laughs> coffee from the Kona Cafe. Oh, yeah, check out that video. That was my favorite coffee. Yeah, we have a, a breakfast video from Kona Cafe. We actually, hint, hint, may like it more than Ohana breakfast, but Ohana dinner is definitely top-notch. Goodbye from the Polynesian. Hello, depression. <laughs> <laughs>